just popped to the car and had a random PS3 inside the boot. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Morning, afternoon, evening, depending on what time you are watching this video. And welcome to today's video. In today's video, it's going to be a nice, easy, um, how I go about selling video games on eBay. That's video games, video games consoles, testing it, listing it, everything that you need to know about how I sort out my video game stuff. I know a lot of people have been interested in a video like this, so here it is today. So before we do go on to today's video, please do me one huge favour and smash the hell out of that like button. It really will mean the world to me and the channel and subscribe if you're new around here. So without further ado, let's get a wiggle on. But first, we must pack yesterday night's orders, which, to be honest, eBay is on absolute fire at the moment. So we just need to keep the momentum going, keep listing and keep selling. So I'm going to go speedy around this unit, pick all the orders, and then we're going to show you exactly what sold on eBay last night. Here's one table load. We sold a pair of Adidas Predators, sold them for 30. A pair of Vans, a pair of Nikes, a pair of GH Basses. They sold for 55. A nice little Nike cap. I sold for 20. Uh, some Emu insoles. They are absolutely, what a, what a find they were. They paid a pound 50 each for these and they've got over a hundred of them. Selling them for 18 pounds. A pair of Nike craters, a pair of kickers. They sold for 25 quid. So yeah, nice little table worth there. I now need to go and find the other half of what we sold because we sold probably another nine items as well as that. We sold, I can't believe it, we probably sold about 10 to 12 pairs of trainers last night. eBay is on absolute fire. Sold ink for a tenner. A pair of Sanders shoes, they sold for 30. A pair of Puma suede, they sold for 25. A beautiful pair of Nike Mercurials. They sold for £25. They are just Astro boots, but look how good they are. £25. Happy days. A pair of Adidas UK5 Stan Smiths. Sold them for £22.95. A Oak Castle sort of CD player. Sold that for £30. Bish bash bosh. And a beautiful pair of G-Star Chinos. They sold for £30. So what I will do is I will pack all of these and then we'll get into the main bulk of today's videos. Selling video game consoles and games on eBay. Is it worth it? Well, hopefully today we'll be able to find out. So let me just quickly go and pack all these, get labels on them, and then we'll get into the main part of today's video. Oakley dokley do. In my last video, I actually said um, we were doing a giveaway of an Amazon gift voucher. So... Here it goes. So thank you all so much for participating. Unfortunately, there's only one winner, and the, the winner goes to Out and About Detecting. If that's to do with metal detecting, I'm all for it. Awesome video as always. A new part of the unit looking great. Thank you so much. Please let me know. Reach out to me on Instagram, and we'll get this sorted for you. Out and About Detecting. Maybe that's not metal detecting, but if it is, I love it. Right, we are in the new area. We've got Ed with us today, and we're going to test all well, the majority of these video games. Can't so I'll tell you exactly what I do, how I do it, and why I do it the way I do it. But we've got so much to get on with. Yeah, we must have what, like 20 ish Wii's, probably about five or six Xbox 360s, a couple of Xbox Ones, a Sega, a PS1, a PS3, a PS3 and the crystal xbox that does actually work uh, so I do just need to clean it and then we have boxes upon boxes of wires first things first is obviously you're going to want to get yourself a testing area like something like that it just has to be a desk with a uh, power cable with an extension lead a tv that you're happy to test consoles with preferably ones with hdmi and av and scar so that you can test everything possible and then you've got a nice, easy area to work with. I've got a couple of adapters just to make it a little bit easier for testing video game consoles. So I've got the Wii HDMI one and I've got a PS2 one. The PS2 one is absolutely naff, if I'm being honest. So what we're going to do now is test a slimline PS3 and all that requires is a HDMI and a figure of eight cable. Always a good sign. A common fault with a PS3 super slim is this eject button doesn't work. So let's see if it does. Oh, yes, it does. It does need a bit of a clean. 
but there's no point in cleaning it if it doesn't work. So what I do is test it dirty and then I'll clean it afterwards. This wire has to be the bane of my life. You wouldn't believe how long it took us to find a mini USB to plug that into that. Right, the first thing I do is make sure I know exactly what space this is. So this is a 12 gigabyte PS3 Super Slim and you can find that information just on the system information. And then what I'll do after that is I'll actually test a video game to make sure that the lens is actually working. That's the most important th thing to do. And pff, what a classic, Modern Warfare 2. Let's give this a spin. But yeah, we've literally just got games absolutely everywhere. I mean, we just really need to crack on getting some of this sorted through. You might be sat there asking, Kieran, what do you do with individual games? Well, for example, if there is a game that's worth over £6 like so, this is Buzz Monster Rumble. I will list that individually just because the prices of Royal Mail stuff is absolutely extortionate. So £6 is my limit on games. Anything under £6 will just get bundled in with the consoles. Right, because we've got a PS3 set up, we are just going to rattle through these um, PS3 controllers. So we had nine, no, eight, and five of them work. So the other three don't work. I think the DualShock's completely knackered. So they'll just go in a bundle of, yeah, broken parts, which I'll sell eventually. Or when I get around to it, I'll fix them. But what I will do now is I'll take a picture of this working just to increase my confidence. So always worth taking a picture with the PlayStation and the TV with the game loaded. And I'll take a picture of something like so. Right, now that I've got that ready and taken a photo of it working, it needs a little bit of a clean down. So I will probably just blow the vents out with compressed air and just clean the wires and the controllers, etc, etc. But we're going to test another console. I mean, that doesn't look great. Um, it doesn't... Yeah, it has a switch on it. Right? Oh, yeah, somewhere. <laughs> That looks better. Oh, I don't claim to be the uh, the master of video game consoles, but let's give it a go. Yeah, I don't think this one is working. It's just powering on, and then all of a sudden it just powers straight off. I think it's to do with the overheating on the CPU. Um, but I think these do hold a little bit of value broken, if I'm being brutally honest. So what I might do... Yeah, it's completely knackered. What I might do is keep it on for a little bit and, uh, yeah, maybe see if we can get it working. I think it might be broken. Yeah, we'll come back to that another day. Oh, well, we've got plenty more consoles where that game from. So we're going to try an Xbox One. i tell you what, the Xbox One doesn't even work either. You see all this here, guys? These are all the game stuff that I've bought over the year and none of this works so um yes but what i would say i wouldn't let you that put you off because we have had some cracking success in the past what i would say is generically if i'm being brutally honest nintendo wii's are by far the most um success and then followed by the ps2s don't tend to have too many problems with the nintendo wii and the ps2 i do seem to have a fair few problems with the xbox 360 Old school ones, you know, the Red Ring of Death. What a throwback, eh? Red Ring of Death. But apart from that, the rest of the consoles normally do work. Apart from this round, we are having a lot of trouble with the PS3s and the Xbox Ones, which normally we don't. So that's dead. That's broken. And that's also dead, but they do hold value broken. So that one isn't the be all and end all. I think I should be able to still get about £30 for that not working. So that's okay. As long as you know and you're negotiating that in your price when you are in car boots and charity shops, then you know, always look at the spares and repairs value because you just never know if it's going to work. So always take make sure you take that in mind. Always sort of try and offer a round about the spares and repairs mark on game consoles, especially if you uh, get them from the car boots or even the charity shops. There is three huge boxes of gaming stuff here, which I do want to do a video on on its own because I've got it all from auction, which do have at least another 10 game consoles inside. But that's for another video. But yeah, watch this space.
just popped to the car and had a random PS3 inside the boot. So let's get that tested. Oh, look at this. This is a beautiful, beautiful PS3. What I would say is if you do want to get into game consoles, you need to prepare to have a lot of wires because I, I wouldn't be able to do it if I didn't because I've just randomly pulled that one out. Didn't think I had it, but I do. Figure of eight cables, pretty, pretty common. But because I've got boxes full of them, it just makes it all that little bit easier, right? In other news, the PS3 seems to be working. Now what we've got to do is put a disc in it and make sure it reads properly. Just saying, name me a better Call of Duty than that. But this PS3 Cobalt Red seems to be absolutely working beautifully. So what we're going to do now is take a picture of it just to increase buyer confidence and hopefully it will sell. But that one is pretty rare colorway, so should be looking at at least triple figures for that with five games. Next stop, the PlayStation 1. What a classic. Yeah? Yeah. I'm saying, yeah, that is a good sign. This is exactly why I stick with Nintendo Wii's, because look at that. What, 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 what is going on today? <laughs> nothing. And I mean, nothing seems to be working. Yep, another broken controller. Uh, not controller, console, but I just need to get some alcohol, I think, just to, not to drink, but to uh, to clean the contacts, I think, more than anything. So we're gonna get some of them ordered as well. Next on the list is one of these remade sort of Sega Mega Drives, but you can, in fact, play old school Sega games. I'm pretty sure I've got a couple of them in this unit. So get this tested, we can get it listed, Probably looking at about £60 plus. Oh boy. Well, this definitely works and I can definitely have hours and upon hours of fun on this. But we need to get two to work. I tell you what, I paid a tenner for that at a local car boot. I'm, I nearly, I'm, I'm tempted to keep it, if I'm being honest. But after today's shenanigans... I think I need to sell it to start recouping some of my money back that I've got invested in games console because we haven't had the most successful hit rate, let's be fair. Right, what we're going to do is rattle through some of these Nintendo Wii's and I'll pick up the camera in a bit. I can't do the 360's because I've actually got no power cables for them. So if you do have any for sale, please let me know. Just a quick one, when it does come to Wii's and Wii flaps and Xbox One flaps and all the flaps that you... Yeah, you get the gist. Um, yeah. You get them from AliExpress or Alibaba. And to be honest, they are cheap as chips. And they actually do arrive probably within 12 to 14 days. So if you're ahead of the schedule, they're definitely worth buying. But yeah, Alibaba, AliExpress is where I get these from. And just like that, we have a brand new flap on the Wii. I told you, Nintendo Wii's never fail. If you're new to gaming reselling, just buy Wii's because they sell quickly, uh, especially at Christmas time. We were selling these at like 35, 38 pound um, with a few, a few games. But yeah, they absolutely fly and they're indestructible. Trust me. Isn't that right, Jack? Another working Nintendo Wii. And we're going to bundle it with five games. Science, Papa, Ashes Cricket, Boogie, Smackdown vs. War. And Need for Speed Nitro. I mean, how is it half four already? That being said, we still have to go to the every drop off. Oh, tell you what, I'm now home and I'm going to flip the camera around and show you the new additions to the Pokemon collection because I haven't done that in a in a while. I thought because we're doing a gaming heavy video, um, I thought why not show you? So yeah, let me spin the camera around. Here we have it. This is new, I believe. This is the new Nintendo DS 2DS XL. Pikachu edition. Obviously, we've got the Girl of Darkness in a very nice protective case. Um, but yeah, we are starting to grow a little bit of a collection. That's my pride and joy at the moment, the brand new and sealed Red Rescue team. But all of these Game Boy games are fully complete. We've got a few Nintendo DS games added to the collection. Nice, cheap, cheerful, and wonderful. My wonderful partner bought this for me for Christmas. <laughs> nice condition sapphire. And again, she bought me an exquisite condition. Look at that. Pokemon Stadium in its form. Oh, hoo -hoo! What a what a beautiful box. Pokemon Snap being protected. But yeah, 
the collection is coming on quite quite nicely i do need a few a few extra ones obviously and, uh, and then we're going to start really hitting the etbs quite hard as well but yeah that is the sort of like the uh, pokemon collection and obviously i have the odd few game consoles as well yeah houston i'm a bit of a collector or a hoarder depends which way you look at it that all being said i'm gonna end today's video there so thank you guys so much for watching um i do just want to put out a public sort of plea if anybody has any and i mean any gaming games bundle fodder then please do let me know on instagram and you're willing to sell your bundle fodder obviously i don't want to take the the creme and de la creme just want the bundle stuff so i can bundle with consoles so i tend to pay about 50p per one so they could be like Call of Duties, FIFAs, anything like that. Just any bundle game fodder which you guys are not interested in. Please do reach out to me on Instagram because I'm looking to buy them all. Every single bundle fodder game possible. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy that video, please do me one huge favour. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you beautiful lot in the next one. Bish, ha bosh, bash, bish, bish, bash, bosh. Nearly forgot me outro. Shocking.